Hello everybody, this is John Michael for a new episode of Oranda Power. And as you can see, my hardscape has some large modification. This is because um, I first wanted to assure myself that all the rocks were very more um, solidified so there won't be any fallen rocks in the future. And this is important because um, I I really don't want my fish to get uh, injur injuries anymore and because also I wanted to um, to have more space in the back for new plants because as you may know I want to add plants in my aquarium and also a sponge filter um, technically I was supposed to get new fish today but um, that might still happen but if it doesn't happen today um, be sure that it will happen uh, in the current of this week so um, I will turn um, a video about how I how I build this um, this uh, rock work so you can inspire yourself to do something similar to this because um, for this uh, specific aquascape I use three type of rocks I have big rocks like uh, the one over there that have a lot of grip um, those rocks I use for really solidify the, um, the base of the aquascape to ensure myself that um, you know the smaller rocks will stay still and don't um, and don't crumble apart then I have the red flat rocks those are excellent for um, adding some really nice hiding, sp hiding spot like there, there if my fish can go there, there, there and then I have um, the third type of rocks and those are the small ones that only just put some more natural look to the aquascape. Um, I will uh, show you another view of my aquarium, the side view, so you can clearly see that I made a lot of space in the back so we can um, plant some plants and also put the, um, the sponge filter there so it will be very nice the sponge filter don't will be probably hiding uh, in the back of this part so all you will be able to see is some uh, nice bubble and yes um, I removed the, um, the driftwood part simply because in in this aquascape I just didn't think it was looking that great anymore I really like this branch and everything but in my current uh, design it wasn't fitting well so I will keep it and eventually maybe I will reuse it but for now this is my hardscape um, now I will just take the camera off of the tripod so I can show you the other view So, as you can see now, I have um, some kind of uh, canyon running down there. And this is really the specific, the specific place where I really want to put the, um, the sponge filter. And then there will be all sort of plants running all, um, all the way back there. So, this is a nice view of it so you can clearly see I will have a lot of space to plant some nice uh, plants I'm really hoping to have some java fern uh, no sorry some jungle vowel and also uh, this canyon is really nice for my goldfish because uh, my goldfish I find that in the uh, old aquascape they didn't had any place to hide really much um, you know, they, they had some place with the branch 
so they can kind of hide but they, they didn't like it as much as they like this canyon so anyway this is pretty much it for pretty much it sorry for this video um, but yes I really hope I will be able to get my new fish today but um, as things are right now um, all my friends are not able to to give me a ride to the pet shop so um, but they ensured and well they assured to me that in the current week we will be able to uh, do it so I really hope I will have some new fish soon and um, yes um, this will be very interesting so yes this was John Michael and have a very nice weekend. Bye!